All right, folks, welcome. This, the International Cub Cadet 982 saga continues. I'm determined to get this little thing working really good. Um, the reason I didn't build the tire chain yet for the other side is that tire kept going flat. The rear and the front on that one side kept going flat. It wasn't a nail hole, it wasn't a puncture. Uh, the rear tire was leaking through the side because it was tubeless. Put a tube in it, got that done, and then the front had a bead leak on it, but you know what, once they started doing that, I just put a tube in them. Brand new tube in the back, brand new tube in the front on this side. Got the snowblower working excellent, got the proper proper belt on it, like I said before. Um, I noticed one of the lift arms kept coming off, and it wouldn't lift all the way, so I put that lift arm on there. So I'm going to mount this tire, mount the front one too, and then we're probably going to go put together a set of tire chains and I'll show you how I build those. I'm pretty sure this has probably sunk into the snow a bit maybe. I don't remember if I lifted up high enough. Hmm. Oh, I'll just go up a little bit more. Really don't make a difference I guess. There. Perfect. Ow. Every time I went to use this, I'd have to stop and put air in the tire. Gross. A little, a little bit of play in the steering box, but that's no big deal. Set that down. Didn't have to lift it up that high in the first place. Stick this under here. Now when I prop that against there, I did not prop it against the fender, I propped it against the three point hitch uh, lift arm attachment, or attachment point, I should say. Brakes are easy to adjust, I see. That's good. I'll be adjusting them. This summer I'll do a bunch of work on it when I get a chance. this the right way. One started in there. Do the other one.
All right, I got it on. I ended up putting some oil on the little studs just so I can take it off if I ever have to. I feel much better about that. The fronts were all greased up. It's got, they have little bearings in the front, which is good. So uh, take it for a little test drive and then I'll come back and we'll build the tire chains up in the old house. See you there. Okay, so I got all my short ones. I have my long ones. This is how I do it. So from the second one down, that's where I started was on the second one. Take that down there. Put one of these in here. Boom. Just like a so. Then I'll clamp that in there. Then I'll turn this to line up here. I'll do the rest. Look like that. Then I'm gonna weld it. And if it doesn't sit quite right, all I do is just take it, put it in a vise like this, straighten her out. Pretty good. And again, if I don't like the look of that. Quick little bang here. And that straight is out pretty good. I'm just gonna get bent anyway, he says it's on the on the tractor, but if I'm not liking it, like I say, all I do is this. Straighten her up. That's good. Now I got that one. Now I've got to grab another leg. Another link here, but I want to make sure that is straight. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much if these cross chains are twisted a little wee bit. Because I don't know if it evened out anyways, to be honest with you. Anyways, this goes through here like this. And the other chain. The other chain is going to go on the second one here. Just like the other, goes on the second one from the top. Close all the way. I just stand it up like this. Give it a little tappy tap. That will hit my fingers. And it's done. That part, anyways. So now we have. Where are we here? The start of one. Set of chains. Boom. Look at that, eh? Very nice. Now I count down to six. So this is the one here. I don't count that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure. Can you see that? So not counting the one it's in. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll stick another one in the number six. Make sure it's on the same side as well where it goes in just like that yep yep another one of these cross chains <clears throat> put it in here this down in here that kind of helps center it up a little bit grab this and just twist it just like so very easy. Then, just put it here 
somewhere. If I lift the weight, lift the weight up, it's better. Although it'll end up tangling up probably on me. Hmm. Yes, a clean bench helps. But I barely work up here, so. You know what? Tighten that up a little wee bit just so it don't slide through there. And it's a good place to hold it. Hopefully it don't spread open on me. That's good. Now I'll hammer it shut a little bit. Just like this. Done. I'll tap this side down a little wee bit here. Now these are, if I had to buy these, here they're they $250 a piece before tax and shipping, right? Am I right, Heather? Yeah. So we have, we have this one now. Boom. Make sure they're not tangled because they can twist on you like this if you're not careful. Just want to make sure they're all, they're all right here. It does take a little bit. This has to slide down here. That goes up there. I'll get this one down here too as well. Down there you go. Tire chain, making, making simple tire chains like this is not a big deal. You just gotta make sure that you don't get a twist in them, that's all. Two vices would be nice. But I don't have two vices. Well, not mounted. So they'll go kind of like, see they're straight here, straight, 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 that's good, okay. Now this one here, make sure that's not twisted either, okay. That has to go down here. This gets pulled up. There we go. That's straight. It's here. Straight like that. Yep. And then this here. We count down six, so not counting the one that's in. One, two, three, four, five, six. It'll go into this one, make sure that's straight. It is. Take one of these links. I put it in there and I always test it, see how it looks. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's see. Hopefully that's not twisted. That's running straight here. Is this twisted at all? Let me see. Just take it over there. I'll just recount it if I have to before I loop it on there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Into there. And that's straight now. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's good there. Okay. It takes it takes a little while to get them lined up. Normally the camera lady helps me hold it straight, there, but she's running the camera right now. Oh, I don't want to get that one caught in there either. I just want one in there. Now I gotta weld these links later.
number two cross. That's number two cross chains, and they were all running straight. Now I'll just plant this back in here again. Make sure these are running straight. I don't care about this hanging now. This one here. Make sure that's running straight. So I'm not counting this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one right here. Loop this in here. Count it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the one. One of these cross chains. Go into here. So don't get caught in the vise. I'm going to tighten it up. So, then, two vices does make a huge difference, but I don't have them. Lift that up now, let that straighten out on its own. Put this back in here. Okay, now that I got that clamped in there. Make sure these are all running straight again. They are. No twists. Make sure this runs straight here. Make sure there's no twists. There's no twists. Boom. Go like that. And then from down here, make sure there's no twists in that one either, which is the fun part here. straight down here so one two one two three four five six should be here If you mess up on this, it's easy to straighten out at this point in time because they're not they're not welded. So you basically just respread them and redo it. This is exactly how I make tire chains instead of buying them. Make sure that's tight. Boom. And let me show you here how that's looking. And then Heather and I will proceed the rest with the rest and we'll bring you back once they're all done. So that's how they are. And that's how they're hanging. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we'll be back in a bit. one so all, all it didn't take too long now what we got so I have one link here what do we have left at the end here 
one, two, three, four, five, six links. And that's what we had in between, right? We're gonna go back and try to put it together. Is there a rag or something up here? Because that chain is oily. Yucky. So I have these left over. Because I am going to put a few cross chains in them here and there later on. I'm going to add cross chains in between if I think I need it. I kind of think I do. I may have spaced them a little too far apart, but I did what I had to with the chain I have. So now with that said, oh, those are oily too. i got to clean those, man. Seems like everything I touch up here is covered in oil. Hey, there's one of my old cars I carved, remember? I remember. It's all broken now, but uh, so I did the engine in there. <laughs> I did everything here. This has got broken off. And uh, here's the here's the old truck I carved here too. That was a long time ago. That's got the engine. It's got tailgate. It's got all the frame in here. A lot and, of detail uh, in that. What's that, babe? You put a lot of detail into those. Yeah, yeah. So there's the tractor trailer. I was the tractor I was carving. I didn't get back to it. Probably won't either. Oh, look at there. There's a resistor. Ah, you never know when I need one of those <laughs> resistors. It's a five watt, five watt resistor. So, so those are good for uh, charging up your uh, uh, inverters when you first get them. If they're if they don't have any power in them, you you touch that, put it in between the cables so you don't blow out your uh, capacitors when you charge them. So, well, let's get back and get this put together. I'm putting the chains on today or that one chain I mean it's finding a dry spot to lay it out to do it I'm sure I tangled it all up carrying it back here let's see here I think that's it there I don't know how this is going to go on, but we're going to see. Won't we ever? Mm-hmm. I'm going to back that thing up. The other one was a little short, remember? It was. It didn't want to fit too good, but we played with it and got it on there. Yes. Yeah, this is going to be the same, I think. Yep. I'm going to 
back up a little bit more. Watch that thing may bang because I didn't push in on the clutch. Now, I've got a bunch of V's here. Try to hold them on with those. I don't have the proper clips for them. We'll see how this works out. Okay, we'll get set up. Okay. I want to mount this properly later as well. I'm gonna have to drive ahead and back to see if I can get <laughs> Thank you. 
not super tight, bungees will pull that tight. And when I can afford it, when I can find them, I'll get those cam lock style ones there or I'll build a set for it. See, these are twisted a little bit here too. gets bolted on where the ball goes. Alright, well I bolted on that I bolted that on where it's supposed to go with that weight. Now I just need to build a little arm that runs down but for now I have a, a V belt on there holding it roughly. Now we're gonna try this chain out.
the snow is way too sticky today to do this. I might wait. Maybe uh, do it tomorrow and it freezes up a bit. brand new belt. Yeah. Put on the proper one. The other one was too uh the other was too uh long. Oh well, it's really warm today. Oh. Gotta finish this real quick in there and then I'll park it. Okay. that off the ground so it don't freeze in. It doesn't usually creep down. Anyways, I think that's a success so far. I have to put my bungees on there, but the chains don't seem to be slipping. I really can't tell because I'm on the tractor. Once I put some bungees on there, tighten it up a bit, I think it'll be fine. 